Okay, we are doing a realistic rebuild of the Los Angeles Rams. The final team I have to do with Madden 18. Our starting quarterback is Jared Goff. Only 22 years old, a 75 overall normal development. He has 73 awareness, 75 deep accuracy, 76 medium, 82 short, 92, 92 throw power, 80 throw on the run, 74 play action, and 78 speed. Obviously, our starting running back is Todd Gurley. Quick development, that's it? I guess, yeah, that kind of makes sense because the season before that wasn't all that great. But he has quick development, 85 overall, 23 years old. I imagine we have to give him a contract next year or after next year. Yeah, okay. But obviously, he's going to be a starting running back the rest of the way. Thank you for the follow. Who was it? Let's find out your name. I'm probably not going to find it out in time. I missed it. But thank you. Uh, things are going good. Oh, Oliver followed me. Thank you, Oliver. Our starting wide receiver, this is probably going to work. Bleh. Our starting receiver is Tavon Austin, I believe his name is. Yes, 26 years old. He's an 81 overall, normal development, 95 speed, 82 route running, 82 catching, 94 acceleration. I mean, we don't have ba bad receivers, but they're not the greatest either. Robert Woods, 79 over. Oh, why does it say 79 down there in the bottom right? But it says 80 right there. That's a little strange. He's 25 years old. I do like him a lot. He's injury prone in real life. Not, but we have injuries turned off, so we don't really have to worry about that. Normal development. And then Cooper Cup, who is a good young player. Only normal development, 73, or, uh, 73 overall, 24 years old. But he should develop somewhat quickly. Our starting left tackle is Whitworth. He is 35 years old, so he's up there in age. Superstar development, 92 overall. I don't know what his contracts looks like. Maybe we can trade him. Why does he have no stats? Or I guess it's because he's an offensive lineman. I guess that makes sense. Three years left. So we could trade him away and try to get something for them. Uh, let's see. What does our starting left guard look like? He's a B minus 79, 29 years old. So we're going to have to get a better left guard. He's going to start regressing already. Normal development. Our starting center is Joe Sullivan. I believe John Sullivan. He's 32 years old, 81 overall. We have a lot, a lot of old players on that offensive line. Not liking that so far. Jamon Brown. Okay. He's 24 years old, but he is a 72 overall, which isn't that great. Normal development. We're going to have to fix this whole offensive line, right? I, he Havenston's a 78 overall, 25 years old. We could probably work with that. He has 76 run block, 78 pass block. So that's not that bad normal development. We could probably work with that. Everett and Higby are our starting tight ends. He is 23 years old, a 78 overall normal development. Should be good to go. Our starting left end is obviously Aaron Donald. They won't pay him in real life, but we will be paying him in this. 26 years old. He's already a 99 overall superstar development. Not much we can do to this guy. I don't know what his contract looks like. It seems like every year they're trying to do something with it. He has two years left. So then we're going to have to give him some mega contract you'd have to imagine. Our, our starting defensive tackle two is Purcell. I don't know anything about him. He's 26 years old, a 73 overall, normal development. That's not that bad for a number two guy. Number one guy, though, is Michael Brockers, 26 years old, 84 overall, normal development. So our defensive line is looking like a beast. And then Dominique Easley, the used to be a Patriot. Not so much anymore. 25 years old, 79 overall, normal development. So our defensive line is looking stacked right now. And then let's look at cornerback. Who is Johnson? Tremaine Johnson, 27 years old, 84 overall, normal development. Let's see what his contract looks like real quick. He has one year left, so we're probably going to bring him back. I imagine we definitely will unless he doesn't perform something along those lines. And is this EJ Gaines? 25 years old, 75 overall, normal development. Isn't he on the, the bills now, I believe? And then our starting cornerback two is Nickel Robbie Coleman. Never heard of him, but 25 years old, 79 overall, normal development. Our starting strong safety is Alexander. He's 20. We have so many young players. 26 years old, 85 overall, normal development. Our starting line, our left outside linebacker is Barwin. He's 30 though, so I think actually we're just going to add him to the trade block right now. No reason to like wait for a second. Let's see about Ogletree. 25 years old, 78 overall, normal development. Not bad. Robert Quinn is what? 27 years old. Quick development. I did not know that. 85 overall. Definitely going to keep him. And our starting free safety is Joyner. He's 26 years old and 83 overall. Normal development. A very young and very good defense so far. If they all develop, this should be relatively easy, I would imagine. Trade offers. What do we got here? Whitworth and Barwin. So let's see what the trade offers are for Whitworth right now. A third round pick. Ooh, Paul Richardson. But our, our receivers are pretty good. And a fourth and a fifth. Uh, fifth and a seventh, a, a second and a fifth's not bad. Second, fifth and a sixth from the Chiefs. Second and a fifth from the Chargers. So nobody's getting a first round pick, obviously, even though he is a 92 overall. So it wasn't the worst idea right now, though. I'm stuck between either the Giants or we get Paul Richardson, but I believe he's a free agent after this year.
We are going to trade Andrew Whitworth to the Giants for a second and a fifth round pick next year. We got trade offs for Barwin. I'm not 100% sure on trading this guy, but if someone, oh, we get Richardson again and a fourth round pick. A second and a seventh from the Ravens might be the best offer right now. Oh, a number one from the Bengals? Yeah, we're taking the Bengals off for a number one next year. That's crazy. At the midseason mark, we are 5 1 and 1, so that is good. What do we have for XP wise? Nothing too crazy. Oh, wait, Cooper Cup has 6,000. Okay, that's pretty good for him. A third string guy, Jared Goff has 5,000. Gurley with only 3,000, expecting a little bit more. Everett up there, tight end, had 5,000. Uh, Donald has 5,000, but really can't make him much better. Quinn has 5,000. That's pretty good. Ogletree with about 5,000. Alexander with almost 4,000. Okay, that's not that bad. Looks like Alexander's about to be a free agent, so we're definitely bringing him back. Uh, what else we got? Tremaine Johnson, that's right. I can't wait for this year to see what their, their cornerback's going to look like. Don't they have Johnson and they have... Uh, well, I'll keep to leave and they got one more uh, the guy from the the Kansas City Chiefs I can't remember his name right now. We're gonna offer him four years for five million a year for its uh, 2.2 million signing bonus Okay, we got the deal done Tremaine Johnson and Joyner. I saw Joyner just got his franchise tag today. So that makes sense 7 million a year. Okay, he's gonna resign John Sullivan. I'm really not worried about we did put him on the trade block though So no one wanted him Let's see if four for four million a year will work. Yes. Okay. We got Joyner back. Dominique Easley is a good player. So I wouldn't mind bringing him back if we can. Let's give him 1.7, 3.5 million a year. The salary and the duration are great. Wish the bonus was as good. Okay. Rub it in a little bit. Ogletree. Ooh. What can we get him for right now? Let's see if he'll take two, five. He doesn't want a big signing bonus either. Let's see if we'll do five years, 2.5 million a year. I'm excited to sign. So okay. That's good. Dunbar, EJ Gaines. No, 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 no. Malcolm Brown, no. Okay, nothing else really. All right, this is what our draft board looks like. There wasn't much we could do because we have the 30th overall pick. As of right now, where's the guy I like? I like, where'd this receiver go? Right there, M Mitchell Odo. Looks like he's going to be pretty good. I scouted a lot of offensive linemen, but I like to see their combine grades before anything else. Uh, but nothing that I'm just dying to get unless I can get this guy who's going to go in the first pick, Tevin Ayers. But probably not going to happen. What? We didn't make the playoffs? How on earth do we go from 5-1-1 one, and one to not making the playoffs? We went 6-9-1. and one. So we were 5-1-1 one, and one, and then won one game and lost... F what? Nobody has a crazy amount of XP. Cooper Cup only has 11,000. I am at a loss for words right now. Aaron Donald with 16,000. Our offensive line has a crazy amount of XP. Robert Quinn with 15,000. Ogletree with 12,000. I can't believe that. Check out the stats. Jared Goff had 3,300 yards. Really? 21 touchdowns, 16 interceptions. Tar Gully with 1,400 yards, eight touchdowns. That's pretty good. Receiving. Tavon Austin, 900 yards, three touchdowns. Woods, 500 yards, six touchdowns. Everett had almost 700 yards, five touchdowns. Cooper Cup with 600 yards, five touchdowns. Todd Gurley, 300 yards, three touchdowns. That's not bad. Uh, let's go here to the defense. 18 sacks I see for Aaron Donald. Wow. Okay. Dominic Easley with nine and a half. Robert Coon with seven and a half. Brock is with six and a half. Purcell with four and a half. Ogletree with two and a half. Westbrooks with two. Interceptions. We have Alexander with three. Robbie Coleman with three. Gaines with three. Johnson with three. Ogletree with two. All kinds of interceptions. Uh, forced fumbles. What do we have? Three for Aaron Donalds. So how many do we have overall? Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Not bad. Uh, safeties, nothing. Defensive touchdowns, nothing. Yearly awards. What do we have? Russell Wilson with the MVP. Do we have anybody from the Rams in the top 10? We don't. Coach of the year. We almost probably should have won it if we actually kept on winning. But why would we do anything like that? Aaron Rodgers, the NFC player of the year. Kirk Cousins, Elliott, Shane Vereen. They went seven and nine and Shane Vereen's up here. Like, come on. Aaron Donald has 18 sacks. And he's not even the top seven. Maybe he's eight, nine, or ten. He's number nine. But he probably did better than Kendricks. He probably did better than Jake Ryan, who I don't even know who that is. Just mentioning that. I can't believe that. Offensive Rookie of the Year. We have one with Everett. That's not bad. Is Cooper Cup here? Oh, Cooper Cup's right there as well. That's good. So two guys in the top ten. Not bad. Defensive Rookie of the Year. We have nothing. The Seahawks beat the Raiders 35-7 to in the Super Bowl. Sure they did. I don't know when the Raiders are going to make it. Oh, Dominic easily said no to us. Definitely want to bring him back. He wanted more of a bonus, I believe. So let's get him up to 185. That should do the trick. Yes, okay, he's going to re-sign. Other than that, I mean, EJ Gaines, if he wants cheap money, maybe. I think we'll just leave him for now and see who's going to be a free agent. 
We have 50 million in cap space. That's good. Be a big name there, please. Oh, Drew Brees, Larry Fitzgerald, Jeremy Hill, a bunch of guys I don't need. Uh, we don't need a right outside linebacker, even though Alden Smith wouldn't be that bad of an idea. We could bring him in for oh, 122 points, though, from the Redskins. Maybe not. Uh, do we bring in Brent Grimes for just one year? We're going to give Brent Grimes a one-year deal just to have him. I know he's 35 years old, but, okay, let's make, give him a fair offer. 3.1 for one year. Won't be that bad. Only 60 points, but no one else wants him. We also could bring in, like, Darrell Revis, but that doesn't really make much sense. Oliver told me in the chat that sometimes the 122 offer is sometime a glitch. So we're going to offer Alden Smith four years, $8 million a year. Eh, maybe, yeah, yeah, then we'll do that. Let's just see if he'll take the offer. With our first pick in the first round, we are taking left guard Sims Walker. Let's see if he's going to have quick or something. No, he's a 76 overall normal development, 90 strength, 82 run block, 77 pass block, 91 impact blocking. Not that bad. It does say we reached, which I don't really believe that, but so be. We are going to trade our second round pick to the Baltimore Ravens for a number one and a number seven next year. If there wasn't anyone I really wanted to get this pick, we can get some more players later on. With our third round pick, we are taking Fisher Burr. I don't know if he's going to be any good. Quick development, 75 overall. That's pretty good. 88 strength, 84 run block, which we like. 70 fast, uh, 75 pass block could be a little bit better. 87 impact blocking, 56 awareness, 76 speed, 79 acceleration, 66 agility. With our fourth round pick, we're going to take left guard Francis Cheney. He should be somewhat of a stud, I would imagine. He's a 78 overall normal development. 91 strength, 74 run block, which I don't like that much. 83 pass block, though. That's pretty good. 89, 89 impact blocking, 64 awareness, 66 speed, 90 acceleration, 54 agility. With our fifth round pick, we are taking receiver Dion Stovall. This was suggested by Oliver. Let's see if he was right. Normal development, 69 overall. 88 speed, 81 route running, 80 catching, uh, catching, 90 acceleration, 77 in traffic, 73 spectacular, 82 jumping, 52 awareness. We got Goff to a 76, Gurley 88, Cooper Cups a 75, Austin 82, Woods is an 81, Everett 83. We have our two rookies starting, or three rookies starting, that's right. Don't know who this guy is, but he's a 69 overall, and then Havenstein's a 80. I can read numbers sometimes. Dar Donald's a 99 still, Brocker's 85, Easley 80, Grimes 87, Johnson 84, Alexander 85, Quinn 85, Ogletree. Uh, what, didn't we, who do we, oh, we signed Brent Grimes, that's right. Uh, who turned us down? The guy from the Raiders. I can't think of his name. Price is a 72 and Joyner is an 83. Uh, okay. What are we? What are we at the midseason mark? We are four and three, but last season we were five and one and that didn't matter. Oh, Aaron Donald's coming up. Can't believe that. Todd Gurley's also coming up. No way. 12 million a year. I imagine in real life it's going to be so much higher than that too. Okay. He's going to resign. Todd Gurley going to bring back obviously. Uh, let's give him 2.4. I don't know what my record's going to be. We were 5-1-1 one, one last season at the midseason mark, and we went 6-9 and nine somehow. I have injuries turned off, so it makes no sense. And we didn't make it again. What the hell is our record? We went 3-13? Do we lose every single game the rest of the way? Because weren't we 3-4? and four? Jared Goff is so good, apparently. I could have sworn we were 3-4. and four. Yeah, 1, 2, 3, yup. And then we lost every single game the rest of the way. I, uh, these rebuilds, I'm so unlucky. I can make good draft picks, good signings, use my upgrade points, everything, and it just things like this happen. Does anyone have a crazy amount of XP? Our rookies have a good amount, so we should be able to upgrade them pretty well. Jared Goff is doing god-awful. Uh, Gurley, 15,000. Uh, Everett has 12,000 again. Anybody on defense? Not so. I guess Joyner has 14,000. That's not bad. Nothing else, really. Jared Goff threw for 3,200 yards, which is a god-awful, 15 touchdowns to 22 interceptions. I want to replace him right now would probably be the best time. Gurley with 1,300 yards, six touchdowns. Davis with nine touchdowns. Receiving, this can't be any good. 700 yards, two touchdowns for Wood. Everett with 600 yards, three touchdowns. Austin almost 800 yards, three touchdowns. Cooper Cup with 700 yards, two touchdowns. Gurley with three. Davis with two. I'm, let's see if Donald has a crazy amount of sacks again. Only nine. How do you go from 18 sacks? I upgrade you and you go down to nine. That doesn't really make sense. Sales with eight. Brock is with five. Easy four and a half. Price three. Smart one. Even though it's kind of what I feel like is going to happen to the Rams in real life. They're so stacked, but then they're just going to underperform. Ogletree with four interceptions. Joyner with three. Grimes with two. Johnson with two. And Alexander with one. What do we have for forced fumbles? Joyner with two, Grimes with two, Donald with two, a bunch of guys with one, a lot of guys with one. 
Safeties, nothing. Defensive touchdowns, nothing. Yearly awards. Aaron Rodgers got the MVP. Tom Brady's there. Fournette, Roethlisberger. Trevor Simeon. I'm trying to do a realistic thing, but I guess Trevor Simeon could just sit there. Alex Smith, sure. Him as well. I hate this game sometimes. Coach of the year. Oh, not Bill Belichick. Uh, of course, we're not even up there. I don't know why I'm looking. Uh, it went to the same thing. NFC Aaron Rodgers. Do we have anybody in the top 10? We don't. Defensive player of the year. Jalen Smith. Sure. Nobody in the top 10. Offensive player. Rookie of the year. I don't think we drafted anybody in defensive rookie of the year. I don't think we drafted anyone as well. We did not. The Seahawks beat Trevor Simeon and the Denver Broncos 35-32. We have $35 million in cap space. Please be a big name. Greg Olson, no. I literally don't want any of the... Ooh, Crowder not be, might not be a bad idea. So we have $35 million in cap room. We're going to give Jamison Crowder a offer because we need to get Jared Goff some weapons. Because obviously he's not performing too well. Uh, let's give him $7 million a year for 2.6. I was trying to go for 2.5. That gives us 99 points. With the first overall pick in the first round, we are taking quarterback Graham Bartlett. Says he's going to go early first round with those combine stats. Let's see what he's going to be. Only normal development. 76 overall. It says we reach. Man, Maxie was right. Maxie was right. So we also have the third pick in the first round. So we're taking this receiver. Says he's going to go early first round. A 7.3 combine grade. A minus special catch or spectacular catch. A minus catch in traffic. Let's see what he's going to be. Super star development. 79 overall. So we have a good quarterback. A good receiver. This is a good combo. 88 speed. 81 route running. 85 catching. 89 acceleration. 91 catch in traffic. 92 spectacular. 89 jumping. 74 awareness. With our other first round pick, so since we missed out on the tight end in the first draft, we're not missing out on the tight end in the second one. Bryant Wendell, let's see if he has good development. Slow development, so we go from superstar to slow? They had like the same combine stats. No way. With our other second round pick, we are taking Jai Gray. Don't know how to say his name. He's a left guard. Quick development, 76 overall, 23 years old. 91 strength, 81 run block, 76 pass block, 85 impact block. I'm basically just drafting a bunch of linemen so we can try to get quick development, superstar development, because there's no other positions we really need or want. With another fourth round pick, we're taking right tackle. AJ Ambrose sounds like the wrestler. Quick development, 77 overall, a good pick. 92 strength, 87 run block, 72 pass block, 87 impact block. So we upgraded all our players. We got our rookie quarterback starting. We got Gurley up to a 90. Woods is an 80. Austin's an 82. Our other rookie receiver is an 80. Every we got up to an 86. Our offensive line is all rookies, basically, or two year guys. Uh, we actually need to get Gray up here and starting. I might just cut Walker. We'll see if we can trade him in the preseason. Uh, on defense, what do we got? Donald's still a 99, obviously. Brockers is an 85, easily 79. Johnson, 83. We have a rookie, he's a 68. Our cornerbacks are not looking good right now. Alexander, 85. Quinn, 84. Ogletree, 81. I don't know who this is. Ukabom? Upakum? I don't know. He's a 75. And then Joyner is an 84. So we put the left guard, Sims Walker, on the trade block, see if we can get anything for him. Uh, I don't want 2021 draft picks. I want 2020. So we'll take the Falcons because at least we get a six-round pick out of it. I think he was on the Browns at the wrong time, in my opinion. I'm about to cut Jared Goff, by the way. Because nobody's taking over this guy's slot. I promise you that. Yeah, he's getting cut. We are cutting Jared Goff. I don't know what it's going to cost us. I can't imagine much of anything. Okay, a penalty of 4.6. Oh, man, that's just... Yeah, because he's going to be a free agent. I'm, I imagine he's a free agent after this, right? He has to be. Yeah, he's gone after this. And nobody wants him, so we're just going to cut him. We're going to lose him anyway. So, uh, goodbye. Nope, don't want him to leave. Goodbye, uh, Jared Goff. Now let's go to the midseason mark. So the midseason mark, we are two and five. That's kind of what I was expecting. I'm hoping, ooh, 16,000 for a rookie receiver. I'm hoping that Bartlett can kind of get rookie of the year. Our offensive line is looking great right now. We're going to have to basically push for the final year, hopefully. Anybody have a crazy amount of XP on defense? Not so much. Uh, we are last in our division. I was expecting that. Who is going to, nope, 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 nope. Who's going to be a free agent? I don't know who that is. Michael Brockers. Definitely want to bring him back. Uh, let's give him $5 million a year, $3 million cap, or $3 million signing bonus. I'm excited to sign. Okay, that's good. Robert Quinn, definitely want to bring him back. 6.5. Let's bring you up to 2, buddy old pal. 209, I guess. Got the deal done. The kicker we can wait on. Higby, not really worried about. Everyone else, not really worried about. 
So we made a draft board, a lot of defensive players. I looked at a right guard, I guess all defensive players other than the right guard. As of right now, I like this middle linebacker that we don't need all too much. I also like these left outside linebackers. As of right now, we have the fifth overall pick. I can't imagine we're going to win many more games, but this game surprised me a lot. So let's go to the postseason. So we didn't make the playoffs. Wasn't expecting to. Let's see. We went 3-13. and 13. Surprise, surprise. Ooh, 26000 for our rookie receiver. What did he get? Didn't get rookie of the year. That's surprising. Our quarterback didn't get rookie of the year. That's a letdown. Ambrose with 15000 Gurley has 14000 That's pretty good. Uh, no one else really on offense. On defense, though. Donald with 14000 Not bad. Uh, where did Becca get? For 8000 okay. Nobody's getting a ton of XP on this defense. Easily with 12000 uh, 12, Brock is with 14000 Sales with 14000 Check out the stats. Uh, Bartlett threw for 3,200 yards, 12 touchdowns to 25 interceptions. I can't get a quarterback to save my life. Gurley, 1,400 yards, 11 touchdowns. Davis with, with six touchdowns. Receiving Austin, 900 yards, three touchdowns. Everett, 700 yards, two touchdowns. Wood with two touchdowns. Our rookie only got 500 yards, three touchdowns. I was expecting a lot more than that. Uh, on defense, what do we have? That looks like 15 sacks for Aaron Donald, 11 for Easley, 8 for Sales, 7 for Brock, 2 for Ogletree, 1 for Joyner, 1 for Gilbert. Uh, interceptions, 3 for Ogletree, 2 for Joyner, 1, 1, 1. Forced fumbles, what do we got? 3 for Ogletree, 2 for Joyner, 2 for Beckett, 2 for Easley, 2 for Bukum. Uh, 1 for Donald, 1 for Sales, 1 for Sullivan. Do we have any safeties or defensive touchdowns? We do not. Aaron Rodgers got the MVP. Okay. Do we have anybody in the top 10? We don't. Coach of the year? Obviously not. Uh, NFC? No. Oh, no. No, no, no. We're not the Saints. We're the, 40, uh, the 49ers. We're the Rams. Defensive player of the year. We must have Donald up here. No, really. A lot of Eagles players. A lot of them. Offensive rookie of the year. Where is Bartlett's top five? And where's uh, Narcisse? He's top 10. Okay. Harvey, we were going to take, but we didn't end up taking him. But we don't have anybody in the top 10 here. We have $33 million in cap space. Please be a big name here. Jalen Ramsey, welcome to the team, hopefully. We're going to give you a big contract to make sure you come here. Eh, not that much. Let's give him, say, I'll give him 17 to make sure he comes home. I don't know why I'm saying home. Or the, that doesn't even put us that much in first place. That's crazy. Uh, we'll definitely get Neil on the team if we can. We'll give him one final push. To win that Super Bowl in the final year. And I thought this rebuild was going to be relatively easy. Uh, middle linebacker. We don't need left tackle. No, 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 no. We don't need any of these guys. James Harrison still playing somehow. Emmanuel Sanders. We don't need Edelman. Speak of the devil. Uh, we, I mean, we could go with Jones. And then move Ogletree over. And see if we can get them enough money that it will be worth it for us. Yeah, that should do the trick, I would imagine. Let's get this up a little bit more. Way in the lead. Okay. We signed Jalen Ramsey. We signed Deion Jones. We did not sign Neil, which is a little bit of a shame. Uh, let's see if we can fill somebody in at that role. Uh, what was it? Strong safety or free safety? Eh, see, I don't really want to do Joiner to them. And then Cravens. Okay. I think we should try to get Cravens if we can. I can't believe Neil didn't sign with us. It's so unbelievable. I mean, it's not that unbelievable. All my rebuilds are like this generally. With our first overall pick, we took left outside linebacker, Barry Cobb, 81 overall, quick development. So we upgraded all our players. We got Bartlett to a 78, Gurley's a 92. Our rookie, we got up to an 85. Let's actually reassign all this. He's our starting number one. Austin's an 81, Woods is an 81, Everett 87. Ambrose, is an 80, Ambrose rather is an 84. They have a lot of negative because of their confidence, but so be it. 84 for Burhey. Uh, Galen is 77, Gray is an 80, uh, Cheney's an 83. So our offensive line's pretty good once they get their confidence back, if they do. Uh, Donald's still a 99, Gilbert's in 68, Brockers in 83, Easley 79, Jalen Ramsey we signed 99, Johnson's in 81, Craven's 88, Cobb 81, Deion Jones is a 93, uh, we have Ogletree as his backup, Quinn 82, and then Joyner is an 82 when he's got his confidence back. So let's hope, oh, that's all I want to do in our final season, we can do something here, shall we? We are 4-3 at the midseason mark, okay, that's good. Uh, any crazy amount of XP, Cobb, our rookie has 9,000, that's not that bad. Uh, rook or second year guy, a quarterback, 5,000 Narcisse with 9,000 Our offensive lines, not looking that bad. Uh, what is it looking like in the division? We're tied for first. All right. I'm going to spend our XP and I will see you in a second. So we got Barlett up to an 80 girlies a 92 Austin, 78 Narcisse an 86 woods, 81 Cheney, 82 gray, 81 Galen set or Gallen. I don't know how to say his name. 78 Burry, 84 Ambrose, 85 Everett is an 87. 
Uh, we have Donald's a 99, Days at a 76, Brockers 84, Easily 80, Jalen Ramsey obviously a 99, Johnson 81, Cravens 90, Cobb 83, Deion Jones 93, Quinn 83, and Joyner is what? An 82. All right, let's go to the postseason. So we didn't make the playoffs. That doesn't surprise me all too much. What was our record? 9, 6, and 1. Not bad. How close were we to making it? Uh, NFC. Oh, we're so close. Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Oh, the Falcons all the way down there. That's disappointing. See, that's why sometimes it should be the better record wins, but so be it. Uh, let's see if we got any awards or anything. Our stats, though, Bartlett threw for 3,600 yards, 29 touchdowns, 19 interceptions. A little bit of an upgrade from last season. 1,600 rushing yards, 12 touchdowns for Gurley. Our rookie had 13 touchdowns. That's pretty good. He might have rookie of the year, actually. Uh, Everett, 900 yards, 6 touchdowns. Narcisse, 800 yards, 6 touchdowns. Woods with 5. Austin with 5. Uh, a few others for other people. On defense, come on, Aaron Donald. Something crazy. 8.5, pretty good. So bad. So, so bad. Aaron Donald with eight and a half. Easily with seven and a half. Day with six and a half. Two for Gilbert. One and a half for Cravens. One and a half. One half, 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 half. I saw six interceptions for Jalen Ramsey. Pretty good. Deion Jones with three. Joyner with three. Cravens with two. Johnson with two. Quinn with one. Rock Cobb with one. Johnson with one. Ogletree with one. So many interceptions. Uh, safeties. Doesn't look like we have any. We do have a defensive touchdown by John Johnson, our free safety. Sure thing. Don't really believe that for a second. Aaron Rodgers got the MVP. I don't know who that is. I'm guessing a rookie. Uh, any of our guys up here? Any Rams guys? No. Did we get in the coach of the year discussion? We did not, of course. Uh, why is Sean McVay the coach of the, the, the Bills? NFC. Aaron Rodgers got it, obviously. Todd Gurley in the top 10. That's pretty good because he had the 1,600 yards. Defensive player of the year. Nothing. Offensive rookie of the year. We have the rookie. Okay, he was in the top 10. That's pretty good, though. Top five, actually. Defensive Rookie of the Year, where is our guy? There's Cobb, not in the top 10, or he is in the top 10, not in the top 3. Uh, what do we get for XP-wise? I know it doesn't matter at this point, but I do want to find out. Our, our second-year quarterback only got 8,000. Our second-year receiver only got 11,000. Our offensive line really didn't get that much. Our fullback, though, 19,000. Pretty good. Uh, nobody really has got a crazy amount on defense, but that is going to be it. For this rebuild. And it will be the final realistic rebuild of Madden 18. The Madden 19 ones will come out very soon. So if you want to check those out, hit the subscribe button. I thought we were going to do a lot better for this. But obviously we didn't. I don't know if it was because of Jared Goff. We didn't have a good quarterback. What it was. Because our offensive line is not that bad. Obviously they could have been a little bit better. Performed a little bit better. We have a good running back. Good receivers. A good tight end. He was progressing a lot. Our defense looks pretty good. So I don't really know what, what went wrong other than the quarterback. But I will see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.